Hi guys, happy Vlogmas Day 16. Da, 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 oh, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories. I'm an idiot and I literally was just editing Vlogmas Day 15. I grabbed my camera because I'm running to my mom's house to get something. I grabbed the memory card and memory card and the because I was running to my mom's house. She's been gone for like 10 days, so I was gonna vlog. And I forgot the memory card just sitting upstairs, but I have the camera. Anyways, so I'm gonna vlog. It's gonna be horrible quality for the beginning, but I'll just talk when we're there because it'll be easier to hear me. She's back. I came back. I I'm trying to come back. I'm trying a middle part lately. It's much better when my hair's down, but love it. So, I got my sour cream because I'm making chicken enchiladas. And then we're coming over in three hours for a potato bar. And a cookie swap. And a cookie swap. I'm so cookie excited. Swap. Is Melissa coming to it? I think so, yeah. She said see you tonight. Tonight is not over. Anywho, that's all I came for. And to say hi, because she just got back. Okay, I know the last clips from yesterday were really bad because it was on my phone because I forgot my camera when, when I went to see my mom. And then I went over to her house afterwards um, a little bit later for her like cookie, potato, Christmas party or whatever. Then I came home and we didn't like vlog or do anything after that. So I don't have any type of footage for a vlog, but I did want to do a quick story time-ish, I guess, of why I look so rough in my Riley's here today. Um, I had a big old mom fail, and Oakland missed her like four o'clock to five o'clock nap, and then she would either stay awake for a while or take like a 20 minute, just like quick cat nap after that, but she missed her nap nonetheless so she then fell asleep around like 7 30 and slept for a while woke up around like 8 30 ish 9 and i was like oh great i'll just have her be awake for a while and i'll put her to bed around like 11. and she was so 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 sleepy still when she woke up that i fed her and she literally fell right back asleep. Like, her eyes were droopy. She was so sleepy. Wow, good friend. She's literally so cute. Um. And Riley and Oakland are back there. You can't see them, but they're back there. Anyways, so she fell back asleep in my arms right after eating. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go put her in her bed. And Riley and I are like, great, let's let her go to sleep. And in my head, I said, I'm going to let her sleep for the rest of the night. And if she wakes up or has, like, whatever, I'll just deal with, like, the consequences later. Because she's so sleepy, I'm not going to wake her up right now. No! Ugh. I definitely should have. Because she <laughs> slept from, like, 9.30 to 11.30-ish. And then was awake until 2.30. <laughs> And I could not get her to go to sleep. Ooh. Saying the ABCs to her while she was in bed, she kept dozing off. And then I finally dozed off too. And then she woke up because I stopped singing. Then I played like her rain sounds and just like shushed her and I had my hand on her chest. And she dozed off and then woke back up. And then we got up, we read some books, we did tummy time which as soon as i laid her on her tummy she went from belly to back which last week she did back to belly so now she can do both of those apparently which i was not prepared for um she did a bunch of stuff finally i just took her like riley took a turn walking around shushing her for 40 minutes while i tried to sleep like we literally did everything that we normally do and then above and beyond that so finally riley went back to sleep because he had work in the morning and I took her out there, put her in her swing, turned on a show for me and then turned on like the ABC song for her on my phone and we just sat out there for a little bit. She got kind of tired so I fed her, she fell asleep and then I finally put her in her bed at 
and then she slept for seven and a half hours. <laughs> so it was just a rough night. I woke up a little bit like briefly at like seven because Duke was jumping on me because Riley had gotten him out to take him to the bathroom. And then Riley was like, I'm so tired and I feel like you guys are gonna need help. So I'm gonna stay home today, which was so needed and so helpful. Cause I got to just take a nice long shower she napped and then she woke up and Riley had her. I got the house cleaned this morning. Like it just has been very nice because she had her shots on Thursday, which was just like traumatic and hard. So Friday she had a fever. Saturday she was recovering. Sundays are always just like long, boring, draining days I feel like. Cause you're kind of just like in the house most of the day. And so Monday is like my day to like get up, get ready, get refreshed. And that's what I'm doing. But I didn't have a video done for today so I wanted to <laughs> tell you guys about my mom fail she's also going through her four month sleep regression I think I believe um, <laughs> all signs would point to that except because she's like having trouble going to sleep but and sometimes when she had her fever and after her shot she was waking up every two hours um, she was hot she was hungry she was just fussy but like I said last night, she slept for seven and a half hours and that could have just been like a recovery sleep from the previous nights. Um, but that's like more normal for her. She usually does like five to seven, sometimes eight hour stretches in the night. She usually only wakes up one time and that's either at like four in the morning or like seven in the morning and then her and I go back to bed until like 9.30 or 10. So. Maybe this is our new normal or maybe she's going back to our old normal and she just, her shots kind of threw her off. But of course her four month shots are at four months and that's when the sleep regression happens. So I'm not sure what it is, but we're just dealing with it. Vlogmas is getting hard to do because we're not doing much. And then we have a lot of family coming. We're visiting a lot of family. Like I feel like it's gonna be hard to get footage, but I'm pushing on. I've gotten a lot of comments from you guys saying, like, don't let it stress you out. If you need to put up a video saying that there is no video or if you just don't post one day, like, it's fine. And I appreciate that and I, like, I'm so grateful you guys say that. But for myself, like, it's my goal to post a, day, a video every single day and it says Vlogmas Day 15 or whatever and it's posted on December 15th. Like, that was my goal when I started Vlogmas. So if i can do anything nothing pretty much is going to stop me like it's going to have to take a lot i don't know i don't know what i'm saying it's just going to have to be a bigger deal than this to having to not post a video because it's my goal i never have completely done a full vlog miss without like days combined or missing a day of uploading or anything like that i've done it for like four years now so this is going to be the year it's my goal i'm gonna do it we have lots of errands to run. Well, not lots of errands to run. We have a couple of errands to run today. Um, and my mom's finally back from Hawaii, so we might see her later. I don't really know, but I am vlogging today. I just wanted to tell you guys this story. And now this is an eight minute clip. So, wonderful, great. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for bearing with me through my vlogmas. It's on the up and up, I promise. Thanks again, I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.